No, my name is Cheryl Wilson, and I'm jumping on here as a, as a preface to this video because I almost didn't put this video out, but I wanted to because, as I explain in making this painting, and, and this is the this is the finish. It's an 18 by 24. It's on uh, mixed media paper, and the reason why I wanted to put this video out and show you is because the painting did not turn out for the purpose of painting it and painting it for this um, YouTube channel for you all. I didn't like it. And I, I could have put it out and I kept looking at it and I was frustrated. And I even stopped at one point for the night and went and got a glass of wine and sat back and I thought, I don't like it, what am I going to do? And I thought, no, I'm going to go ahead and do what I tell you all and that's to keep going and not give up. So I um, looked at the painting, I sat down and I thought, what do I, what do I want to do? What do I like? What do I don't like? Looked at what do I love list and... Um, I'm going some th through some things in my life right now that have kind of thrown me off. And I feel, and this happens to you, it happens to all of us, I feel it in my, in my inspiration, in my soul, but I still paint. So I started uh, attacking the painting and um, I ended up with a painting I liked. So I wanted to encourage you by putting this video out, letting you see that there's going to be times that you're going to be creating. And part of it is, because I tried to think what was bothering me, and part of it was I, w I had changed to mixed media paper, which I've used in the past, but I've been using watercolor paper for a lot of my paintings and switching over to a different medium. And this is gonna happen when you change your paints, when you get something new. You're gonna have a different, it's gonna feel different to you. And it's not gonna react like you think it's supposed to. So you may think it's you. And in reality, the paper was different. It wasn't soaking my paint in. And I was in a little bit of a, um, um, I'm going through some things. And I, um, but down deep, I am who I am and I don't give up. And I knew I needed to keep going. So without keep talking, I am going to go ahead and show the painting and let you see to the point where I get frustrated. And part of it, I could have stopped on the painting sooner and I probably would have liked it, but I kept going. And then I changed it which is what I needed to do. I, I, my, my point is don't give up. Don't give up on your paintings. Keep trying, paint over. They're just layers, it's just paint. Take risks, do all the things I've told you in the other videos. And I wanted to be open and transparent with you. But, um, so without further ado, here's the painting. Um, started this with the marks and realized I didn't have the camera on so I am just going to do a painting this is a piece of mixed media paper and I've already put down a pencil mark kind of just very hold it from the tip and just making marks I'm going to be using uh, graphite and charcoal um, I have this paper here that is very thin. Um, you could either use deli paper or just brown paper. I'm going to maybe use it to flatten out some of my areas. I'm going to be using water. Uh, different assorted brushes. You can tell my brushes are well loved, well used. Um, other tools such as a stick. Um, 
maybe a roller, a palette knife, um, a trowel with the notches. Let me grab something else that I see. Um, some of the um, utility blue paper to soak up the paint. And then I chose to use kind of like a limited palette, and that means just limited colors for this one. And so I'm going to be using, you can tell my bottles are well used. I refill this bottle. I get a big, I always get big jugs of the titanium high flow. So here's a regular fluid in a high flow in the white. I always use black. And this is the just the fluid. I do have a high flow. Um, I'm going to use a quinacridone nickel azo gold, and this is the fluid. And then I have a high flow and a fluid in the turquoise. And um, whatever else seems to come into my realm. Now, I had already had this mixed media paper next to another project, so it got some marks on it, which are fine because they just add perfectly. But this is um, one of those woodies, Sibylla woodies. So, now remember, a lot of these are water soluble, which means um, they're going to spread out when you put water on them. So, any marks you put down that you want to add a fixative to, you would add the fixative um, to really do the fixative. You would do it outside and, you know, spray it, let it dry, spray it again, maybe three times, two times or three times to really get it fixed. This is a, um, oh, it's a piece of foam. <laughs> it's nothing. Anyway, this is um, graphite. And this is another graphite. I like this because you can do it on the side. Okay, so there's my water. I mean, there's my marks. I always put these in a little dish to the side because many times I've gotten my surface wet and I've laid like a piece of graphite or charcoal down and it has melted. So have a little dish to the side. This is a, just a soap dish that I did a pour on when, you know, acrylic pour to make it cute. Have it next to me. And this is my new tabletop. This is, and I'll show you a video once I get, the, I have a lot more to do on the bottom. I have my shelves I still have to put on, but I need help. It takes two people, it says. And so I have to wait till my husband gets home to help me put the shelves on. But I'll show you the whole thing. But this is a glass tabletop I put on, a piece of wood. I put plastic underneath. And um, I think I'm going to put paper because the plastic, you can kind of see the, the wrinkles. And I don't like that. But I loved my tablecloth that I showed you in like my last video or so that full of paint. I loved it. But when I did videos for you on YouTube... The background was so cluttered and full of paint that it was kind of hard sometimes to see the difference between the painting I was doing if it was busy and my busy background. So let's go ahead and I'll show you how I clean the glass. Very easy. So let's just start. As you can tell, the water soluble, it um, moves around, which I love. So if I were to do the utility blue blue uh, paper towel it just still kept the smeariness which I love so let's add some more this time let's do the some marks and smear them in you have some go off the paper So, sometimes I will use a brush um, of dirty water. My water's not dirty this time. And um, add the brown. It's like it comes out kind of a muddy brown. So, and you know, another thing I love to do. 
and I'll turn this down, is to blow dry. I think I'm going to take just playing right now. Not quite sure. What's going to happen when I do some of these? So oh, I like that. on my paper. Some of it rubbed off, some of it stayed. Okay, so now let's start with some paint. This, I always get a new um, jar of this because I completely um, ruin these tops. Find a little hole I can get some of this paint out of. Or open the top. <laughs> Might have to do that. And um, like I said, I don't have a plan. some black and what I'm going to do with this is again put some water Now, Conakrin Gold is a transparent. So let's see what happens when I get a little wet. Let's add some white to that.
tickle. Really playing. Sometimes when you join this, you wonder, what am I doing? <laughs> you're just not quite sure what direction you're heading. But go with it. Have fun. Because you never know when it's going to take off to a direction that you really like. stick and put some black down. There's no way of knowing sometimes what kind of marks you're going to make. Here's a tool here with some teeth on it. Don't be afraid to play, especially on like paper. It's not wet right now, so this may not do us do anything, but what if I put some white down? some more contrast in there. I did a video with these. These are some of my tools I used. This was made with like a pizza roller with neofrome. And this is just a paint roller with rubber bands. Let's put some paint to the side and rolling this in the paint. So let's see what we need to do here. Flatten some of this out. So I'm pushing, when I flatten this out, it tends to push the stuff to the back. 
So I'm going to take some white paint and grab another one of these. So right now we have a painting that is, we're not quite sure where it's going to go, right? Okay. So I still wanted to add in some of the blue. So I'm going to dry this. First of all, I'm going to make a couple. So really what I need, I'm feeling, is a darker, I mean, I have a lot going on here. I need like a great big spot. So let's take a big brush. Where are we at here? Alright, so maybe the things I love paper does add one of the solutions is to add a stencil. I like to add my stencils backwards. So let's I have a fan in here, so okay. Yes. 
dents of some sort down here. So at this point, we may want to come in here and cover up some of the, un, un, what do you call it, there, there's a lot going on, so maybe tone some of it down. So I'm going to take some white, maybe just go in and... back in more than likely and Pushing and pulling. So I put some of that white in, and then I'm bringing some. I, I took away some of the um, chaos, and we'll, of course we'll add some more back in. So let's see over here. I really like some of this. So what I think I'm going to do is, because I like this, I may go in and I quieted some of this down. I want to bring, I want to bring some of it back again. So let's. Here. I'm going to let this dry because 
so I think I need to bring some more white in. I think what I'm going to use is some high flow. So let me dry this. use a piece of deli paper and I'm going to add a large white um, I need some paper towel some of it back. It's beautiful. <laughs> now that's a painting right there. So just push that back but it's still you know the um, the, t the value is there all right so I still want to bring Rigger brush, I think I've told, showed you. Well, I know I've showed you that before. So, bigger spot. So I'm going to use my fan brush and just
what else do we need here? I want, and I'm going to use a, I think a foam brush to do this. You could either use a palette knife or a foam brush. And I have a foam brush on a stick. So I wanted to be honest with you and put a video out where you can go, in my opinion, too far on a painting. And that's what happened to me here. I, and, and it, it, it's perfectly okay because you can come back if you've gone too far. And if I never showed you this type of video, then when it happens to you, and it will happen to you, it happens to me all the time. Um, if you know that there are ways to go back and correct a painting, then you can do that. For instance, I could have left it right here, and I could have gone in and maybe cleaned up some of the outer edges. There's a lot of things I could have done. But I got a phone call. And I was talking on the phone and I just, I kept playing and playing is okay. I don't want to discourage playing with a painting. I don't want to discourage when you keep going, when you think, um, I'm in trouble. I don't know what to do. I've gone too far because it happens. And at some point, I could have stopped, put this to the side, taken a look at it, and eventually you'll see that I do. And I'm okay with what the painting ended up looking like. And it actually, this ended up being the underpainting. All these colors popped through. So there's so many things I could have done at, at, when I got to the point where I felt that I had. And this is about when... I added some interesting marks, but it became, in my opinion, way too busy. So I'm going to um, just put a little bit of music on and just let you watch me play. And when I get to the point that um, I decide, I let it dry, and then I decide, hmm, I need to go another direction, I'll let you know. Because you need to see videos like this from artists. Because if you don't, and this happens to you, you'll feel like, I can't ever paint. You'll go through sometimes, well, I say this. I want to say, I go through sometimes several paintings in a row. And for whatever reason, I just, they don't turn out. And then all of a sudden, things, something clicks. And I, I do several paintings in a row that I love and it's like a cycle it happens it will happen it does happen and um, I wanted to continue to show you this video I wanted to show you what I created so you understand when it happens to you so I'm going to put this on a little bit more of a fast speed and um, just uh, let you see <laughs> how I changed and turned this around into something I really like
All right, so this is actually the next day. And I took a look at it and I thought, I, I don't like it enough to keep it the way it is. So I thought I'm going to just give it another pass, give it a try. And I realized a couple things that were different here. I'm working on mixed media paper and I've been working on watercolor paper a lot and the texture was different. And you're going to find when you transition yourself into different things, different tools you're, you may buy. Well, I remember when I got Lucas Paints, which I love them, there was a little bit of a learning curve and I was like struggling and I had to get used to them. So it's the same way with this paper. It's wonderful paper, very thick paper, but I, I had to get, I had to get used to it. And, um, that's what I was feeling here. So I'm doing some of the, the same green that I, uh, show in another video where I take the, um, yellow and some black and then you can make white and make different colors too. I'm just, I'm using the blue underneath to peek through and to still inspire me to, um, come up with what I ended up with, the painting that I ended up with. And I ended up with something I liked. Although at this point when I'm painting, I'm wondering, am I going to have to do this again? And there's going to be times when you just get really stuck and you don't know what to do. You don't know what direction to go in. My suggestion is to keep going, keep playing, keep taking risks. Don't freeze up. Go to your things you love list, add some of those. If that doesn't work, you can see me turning the paper around. Um, I'm uh, rubbing paint in. I'm, I'm just, I'm just at this point back in the play mode. So I'm going to stop talking for a while and then let you watch me uh, play a little bit more. And then we'll see what I come up with. I, I ended up with something I liked. And I hope when this happens to you, you do too. So I'm going to pause it, my voice, and put some music back on.
Yeah, I'm gonna speed up the music here because I'm coming in for a final landing on this painting. So turn it down if you don't like a little beat. I I needed it. I needed it. I would never thought that you could be causing these problems. It smells so bright with eyes like these diamonds. I'm at a painting that I am almost to the end. I'm I'm loving it better, and um, I'm so happy that I took the advice that I tell myself. It's okay to keep going and keep trying. And these marks I'm putting at the bottom. I've done that on a couple of my paintings lately, and it's it's kind of like a, it's not a series. It's just something I've I've done on a couple of paintings, and I like it. So, my point is, don't give up. Keep going until you get something you like. It's, it's not easy, but it is worth it. I promise you it's worth it.